So just a couple of weeks ago we have introduced Colibri Remote Assistant 1.7 and the highlight of this release is unquestionably the long-awaited file transfer. Many of our customers have requested this feature for a while and now it's finally here. So starting from release 1.7, uh, Remote Assistant features bidirectional file transfer, meaning that you can initiate file transfer from both target and the source computer uh, and obviously the files can go both ways. That way the app provides you with more powerful interaction between the host and the target computer. File transfer is primarily aimed at transferring documents, pictures and installation packages and we do not recommend you use it for transferring sizable media files. There are no restrictions as to what file types can be transferred, so you can share just about any file required. To initiate a file transfer, click on the file icon on the Remote Assistance toolbar, and now you're prompted with this window that enables you to initiate and track your transfers. So click Upload Files, uh, select any file you wa might want to transfer, and click Open. The transfer will start and will shortly be complete. All files are by default saved to the downloads folder, so you can just click open downloads and here you can see the file that has just been saved. It's pretty easy to use, you just click one button, select the file and click OK and you're done. Uh, naturally you can uh, upload multiple files at once of different sorts, so you can select uh, folders, archives, texts, pictures, it doesn't make any difference. All files will be uploaded to the target computer one by one and when you're done you can Again, go to the target computer, open the downloads folder, and all of these files will be right there for you to use. All file transfers are tracked in the journal tab, so you can see when the connection started, which files were sent, and when the, when the transfer was finished. Alright, so this has been a quick look at Cloudberry Remote Assistant 1.7. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you again in the next video.